legs up and start stretching your legs apart. Then bend your hips down along with the hands and touch it on the floor. After stretching your legs completely, move your torso and head down. Now slowly slide and touch your right hand towards thumb of right leg and left hand towards thumb of left leg. Stay in this posture for some time and then slowly push yourself up with the help of both hands down on the floor. Slide your legs back to normal position. Pregnant women should not do this asana. on your back with feet apart. Bend your knees and place your feet on the ground close to your body. Now bring your palms under your shoulders such that the fingers point towards the shoulder and the elbows are shoulder width apart. And place your palms firmly into the floor. Lift your shoulders and elbows firmly into the floor and your feet should be pressed firmly into the floor. The spine should be rolled up so that it should seem to resemble a semicircle arch or wheel. Straighten up your arms and feet as much as possible so that the hips and chest may be pushed up. Hold this pose for at least 15 to 30 seconds to go back to original pose Bend your elbows to lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Then bend your knees and bring your spine and hips back to the ground and relax. With your arms beside you, palms downwards. As you inhale, use your abdominal muscles to lift your feet off the floor. Allow your legs to swipe in a 180 degree angle over your head. Continue to breathe normally and supporting your hips and back, lift them off the ground until your toes touch the floor. Your back should be perpendicular to the floor. Ensure that you do not strain your neck or push it into the ground. Hold this pose and let your body to relax more and more with each steady breath. You should be in a standing position. Bring your hands close to your chest by touching palm to palm called Namaskar. Take a deep breath and raise your hand in upward direction. Now breathe out slowly and bend forward. Hands should be lined with your feet and head touching your knees. Inhale slowly and extend the right leg back and drop the knee to the ground. Bend the left knee and hands should be firm on the ground. During exhaling, bring the right leg back to join the left leg. Raise your buttocks upwards, forming a triangle. Exhale until your feet, knees, hands, chest, forehead touches the ground. Hold the breath. On inhaling, raise your head in an upward direction and bend in backward direction as much as you can. It is called Bhujang Asana Pose. Now exhale slowly and make upward arc as shown in the figure. Inhale slowly and extend the right leg back 
and drop the knee to the ground. Bend the left knee and hands should be firm on the ground. Now breathe slowly and bend forward. Hands should be in line with your feet and head touching your knees. Take a deep breath and raise your hand in upward direction. Stand straight and erect in such a way that your face is in the direction of the sun. Both feet should be touching each other. Bring your hands close to your chest by touching palm to palm called Namaskar. On your yoga mat in Vajrasan pose, rise on your knees. As you inhale, simultaneously arch your back and slide your palms over your feet until the arms are straight. Do not strain or flex your neck, but keep it in a neutral position. Stay in the posture for a couple of breaths. Breathe out and slowly come back to the initial pose. Withdraw your hands and bring them back to your hips as you straighten up. 